how are you with hot food? Ah! So I want to talk to you about your NFL career because it's a hard one. Ah! Ah! Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. There's no doubt that Hot Ones would not be the same without Sean Evans. He is the biggest mastermind who made this show stand out among all the other boring talk shows. Hot Ones' massive success was no surprise considering the intense labor and research behind each episode. But I noticed a common theme that happens so frequently. So everyone knows Terry Crews the actor, <laughs> Terry Crews the football player, but some... <laughs> And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's where Sean ignores the guest's suffering and continues asking questions like it's no big deal. God. <laughs> All right, Shaq, it's <laughs> undeniable. What are the great <laughs> TV said it wasn't hot. And I wondered, is it because Sean is a monster with no empathy? Or is there a genius secret behind this tactic? Spoiler, it's the second one. In fact, mark my words, Sean will go down in the history books as the best interviewer in the 21st century. And you'll know why in a second, because we're shining the spotlight on his bald, beautiful head to uncover his secret techniques that made him a godlike interviewer. <laughs> if you're the host of an interview, that means you're the captain of a ship, but that ship has a broken steering wheel and it's sinking, and you're going down with it. The only way to survive is to figure out a weird way to steer the ship in the right direction. And this is where Sean shines so well. On Hot Ones, you have a person in front of you who's mouth on fire and who's about to punch you in the face for what you just made him eat. I wonder what could possibly go wrong with this ship. But we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain Back Graham Radio. Deep Drive Ever. Yes, Despite all this chaos, Sean has an impressive ability to focus. I've never seen anything like this before. Notice how many times Sean gets interrupted in this interview, but he brilliantly maintained the flow and didn't let go of the steering wheel. Phalanx formation. Better, why are you chewing on our table? Sorry, hold on. Our dog is eating. And then when he uh, when he turned the corner, I like timed it up perfectly. He, he did, has this he place. Did come from the mud. You know he does deserve. Dan, can you grab Shredder? It is like, but at the same time. Um, where's sorry, it? sorry, our dog sorry, is sorry, destroying God. the show. He usually just oh. lips here, but. Shredder, you're kill you're destroying our show, Shredder. <laughs> Got tape in his mouth. All right. I love you, Shredder. Sorry. Get the here. But when he ex but when he sort of exploded and sort of. Uh, Did you get why Sean has to ignore his guests when they are screaming for help? Keeping the flow of questions is a priority for him. Besides, he said before that if you ignore the hot sauce pain, it'll go away faster. But if you focus your attention on it, you'll freak out and it will hurt more. <coughs> Do you realize what a huge responsibility he has to make the guests comfortable and not let them freak out? <coughs> God, that felt good. Did that help? Yeah, she's gonna do that one more time. Oh yeah, that was good. Oh yeah. When Aubrey Pizza snorts milk, he knows this is part of her strange, weird personality. But instead of leaving this unnoticed, he went the extra mile and said, let me try that with you. Can I gargle it with it and then spit it out so I don't swallow it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it with you, man. Let me try that. <laughs> there you go. This mirroring is a common thing that he does. By following their lead, nothing is too far. Unless you're Bobby Lee. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. No. Oh, did you hear it? Seriously, the professionalism that this man has is out of this world. Also, you should keep in mind that the biggest thing that made Hot Ones unique is without a doubt, the research. That's a really interesting question. That's a great question. That's a really good question. That's a good question. 
That's a good question. question. That's a good. 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 Great. Good. 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 Great. Great. Crazy. Good. Interesting question. question. That's the best question ever. When I say research, you're probably thinking how hard this could be. You just need to open their Wikipedia page and look at their net worth. Well, according to Sean, research is knowing every possible detail about the guest, thinking about their struggles and digging into their childhood. You have to understand that celebrities are sick of being asked the same generic questions like, if you had one superpower, shut up, just shut up and never speak again for the rest of your life. These bland questions have become so repetitive and predictable to the point that this is becoming just sad. There are so many people that you interview that are, that constantly go like, wow, you yeah. guys have done your research. Right. And I think that that's almost kind of sad. They've gone through like all these things and they have like the bar set so low for right. every interview because of all of the things that they've gone through that they're like, oh, wow, like you actually did your job. Like I'm blown away. But what makes Sean's research process so unique and effective? As we've seen, doing a quick Google search isn't enough. Instead, Sean talks about the most fascinating and powerful thing that you'll ever hear, which is immersion. So, if he's researching Gordon Ramsay, he'll close his eyes and imagine, really imagine, walking a mile in Gordon's shoes. Imagining isn't enough though. He has to consume every possible piece of media that Gordon has ever produced. I have a hobby with walking a mile in someone else's shoes. If we're going to interview someone and I know a week in advance, I like that. I'll listen to their album, I'll read their book, I'll watch their shows, I'll listen to their stand-up, I'll do whatever and totally immerse myself in that world for as much time as I have before the interview. And I actually enjoy that. I would do that for free. He wants to live, breathe and yell like Gordon Ramsay. He wants to become Gordon Ramsay. Despite how weird this may sound, this step is actually the most important. Because think about it, an interview is two complete strangers meeting for the first time. And on top of that, they have to play it cool for the camera, act like buddies and try not to make any cringy movements. That's why Sean takes this research process so seriously. The biggest pressure is on him. He needs to be able to improvise on the spot. Not only that, this stranger will hate your guts after a couple of wings. You're an ass cat. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a terrible person for making me do this. So I know they- SHUT UP! <clears throat> so I took Sean's research advice while preparing for this video. And let me tell you, it felt awesome to completely immerse myself in his world, forget about my problems, and instead focus on his. But what if you don't make videos? How can you apply this to your life and experience this incredible feeling of immersion? Well, I know you're the most important person in the world, but let's pause that for one day. I want you to talk to that friend that you haven't been talking to for a while. And just like Sean, try to think about their day and let them open up about their problems. You'll discover why Sean is so addicted to this feeling. Because instead of being trapped in your boring life, worrying about taxes and stuff, you get to explore a completely different mind. This is a lot more rewarding than watching a movie, because the character in this case isn't fictional. What do you want to see yourself doing in three and five years? So I've never really thought that far ahead because like I honestly am so hyper focused on just the next episode and I think about all the opportunities that I've gotten to get here and nothing was ever according to plan or the way that I drew it up. Sean Evans success story is beyond inspiring. People think that he was born a godlike interviewer, but in reality, getting to this level was the result of taking every opportunity in his 20s, doing gigs all over the place and not giving up. Sean, did you ever think in a million years that you would be doing what you're doing now? No. You know, we didn't even have that high hopes of for the show, like just in general. Do you know how ambitious it was for him to go, I'm gonna interview celebrities each week, I'm gonna stuff their face with blazing hot wings and I'm so committed to this idea that I'm about to sell all my stuff and move to a different city. Uh, is everyone on board? The result of this risk taking was of course hot ones. This small ambitious team created the perfect balance. A show that has mainstream legitimacy but without losing its YouTube soul. What people don't understand is that yeah this is like seven people 
who are setting their hair on fire every week and then putting it out in a garbage can full of ice cubes just to make sure that the next episode can happen. You know, and there's a lot that happens with that Plinko ball when it goes down before that, that, you know, before that can secure itself. Sean's success didn't come from lying in bed and waiting for the perfect opportunity. No, he built his skills from trying multiple things and failing over and over till he landed that hot one's shot. And if Sean has inspired you, then you should stop making excuses and start building your skills now. You never know what life has prepared for you. If you decided to take this opportunity and learn something new, Skillshare is hands down the best place for that. With thousands of classes covering everything from creative writing to marketing and productivity. Wanna learn how to make a sick animation like this? Skillshare got you covered. I recommend starting with Mastering Illustrator. This course taught me the essential illustrator tips that I still use till this day, like creating shadows and giving depth to your design. A premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes and it's incredibly affordable. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. And if you click the link in the description, you can get two months for free to try it out. If it weren't for Skillshare, my animation level would not be the same. So thanks to them for sponsoring this video and please, for the love of Sean, click the link and build your skills now.